Taking a look at your future track, we're going to see our cold front come in later on in the day, probably close to just after lunchtime. You can see that thin line moving across the screen. There will be the chance for an isolated shower as that front arrives and also through the rest of the night, but I think our better rain chances will hold on until we get into the overnight hours. That's when we'll see the potential for a few showers and as temperatures drop, some of that shower activity turning into more of a wintry mix of snow and sleet over to our western counties, maybe even some freezing rain. The biggest threat for that will be around daybreak and again west of I-35. You can see where we have the red colors here along with the purple colors. That means there could be a little bit of uh, thunderstorm activity within this potential for wintry weather again west of I-35 for the most part. We'll watch how close the temperatures get because if they drop any closer to near freezing along the 35 corridor we could introduce that chance for wintry weather a little bit closer to uh, Waco Temple and Colleen. Now as we go through the day on Wednesday, it will remain cold. That first batch kind of getting out of here by morning could have a little bit of dry time in Wednesday afternoon and then a second surge of moisture may come across Wednesday night to Thursday morning and that could be in the form of a few snow showers of wintry mix across central Texas especially there where temperatures are colder. Now those temperatures will drop quickly once that front arrives. We go from the 60s down into the lower 50s by 4 o'clock, even 40s for some of our northern counties. And then as we head into Wednesday morning, this is what we'll have to watch very closely. 34 Waco, Tipple and Clean. But again, if that's two degrees colder, that's freezing. And that's when we'll have to watch some of those roads. Again, I think the better threat for wintry weather will be over our western counties from Gulfway over towards San Saba, Gulf, uh, Gatesville and Land Passes. And then we stay in the 30s all day. And with the north winds blowing about 20 degrees, it's going to feel like it's in the 20s. A pretty chilly day coming up as we go into your Wednesdays. But for today, we'll be in the 60s at 8 o'clock. 60s again at noon, but already that cold front arriving. North winds hanging around at 16 miles per hour. We'll be in the 50s by 4 and 40s by 10 o'clock. As you take a look at that 10-day forecast, 69 today. We'll wake up to 32 tomorrow morning. 37 your high for Wednesday. Again, with that 60% chance of rain, maybe even a snow and sleet mix again off into some of our western counties. Then we stay in the 60s for the weekend. And after that, we bring in a few more rain chances, but we keep the temperatures on the warm side not expecting any strong cold for us coming in anytime soon after this. That's a look at your updated 10-day forecast. Thanks for staying tuned to First Alert 25. I'm meteorologist Josh Johns.